So it seems as if every luxury manufacturer now has a 4x4 or SUV option. Lamborghini, Maserati, Rolls-Royce and of course Bentley all having SUV options. So this is the latest offering in that market, the Audi Q8. Anything with the number 8 in it from the Audi range means it's at the top end of the scale and the Q8 from the outset looks just that. Big, brash, longer than the full fat Range Rover, the Q8 aims to give Q7 customers a five seat alternative whilst having the top end luxury and massive road presence. Inside the Q8 is everything you come to expect from a top end Audi. It's almost an identical interior to the A8, which is a great thing because it's one of the most stunning interiors out there. The build quality and attention to detail is incredible, which again you come to expect from this level of car. So this is the 3 litre V6 diesel S-Line Q8 featuring mild hybrid technology, producing 286 brake horsepower with the Audi 8-speed gearbox. My biggest gripe with this engine is the turbo lag, it's really really bad in this model which is so disappointing. So although the Q8 is lower than the Q7, there's still plenty of room. As you can see, plenty of leg room and plenty of headroom. But is it as luxurious as an A8? No, not really. I mean, these rear seats are very bench-like, so you don't really exactly slide into them. You've got a very flimsy armrest here. You do get air conditioning controls for the rear passengers, but there's no uh, blinds, there's no uh, rear entertainment. So although, <sighs> I think the potentials are massive for this Q8, the space is there. Why doesn't Audi develop a rear seat package or an individual rear seat package for the Q8? I'm sure it could be done. We could have this lovely, you know, central armrest here with all the controls, reclining seats. The space is there. But the Q8 is very new, so uh, let's let's you know keep our fingers crossed and hope that will be developed in time. The Q8 offers a generous 600 litres of boot space due to the lack of a third row of seats, so plenty of space for those airport runs. The S-Line is the entry-level model for the UK market, so it's packed full of equipment as standard, which includes comfort air suspension. A £2,000 option is the all-wheel steering which makes the Q8 extremely manoeuvrable at both low and high speeds. The £1,700 22-inch wheel upgrade on this model isn't recommended as ride is somewhat compromised. Priced from £63,000 on the road, the Q8 is £10,000 more than a Q7, but £10 less than an A8L, so the Q8 caters for those who, well, basically can't make up their mind. For now, the Q8 is certainly a head turner and a vehicle full of potential for this industry and well worth a consideration when looking into a capable SUV chauffeur vehicle.